Our departure from the village of Santa Rosa begins our last full day in the confluence region of eastern Colombia. We are all more than a little exhausted after being up most of the night collecting altam angelfish in the flooded forest. So we decide to have an easy day and get back to the comforts of Puerto Inarita early. But there is still one thing we have to see before we leave this area of Colombia. The rocks at Mavacuri. Ted's Fish Room presents Columbia 2016, sponsored by Amazonas Magazine, Rapashi Superfoods, and SwissTropicals.com. After being up all night collecting fish, I chose to get a few hours of sleep early in the morning and missed what turned out to be a successful sport fishing excursion. Jeff and Dudu chose to power through the early morning in hopes of catching big peacock bass. And they did. These are all Cichla tamensis. And the fish story is that the really big ones got away. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Top water? No. After 25 years. The rocks at Mavacure are a short one hour boat ride up the Rio Inarita from the mouth of the Cano Bacone. We head straight there because the ride back to Puerto Reno in the afternoon will take more than two hours. We made one short stop along the way when a bird that I had really hoped to see on the trip appeared on a rock bank getting a drink from the river. This is a greater yellow-headed vulture, a solitary species similar to the much more common turkey vulture, but this one has a bright yellow head. Mavacuri is a town at the base of three monolithic rock formations that are remnants of the huge basalt iguana shield that dominates the geography of the South American continent north of the Amazon River Basin. These formations are very old. The Rio Inarita makes a sharp turn at the rocks and pours through a narrow, deep and treacherous canyon between them. As the high water drops, this section of the river will become impassable to large river boats. So Mavacuri marks the end of the line for large boat commerce. The Inarita River upstream from this point is rockier, shallower, with several rapids. The Rio Inarita extends for hundreds of miles into the interior of southern Colombia, but the villages along its length are isolated, remote, and rarely visited by outsiders. Sounds like a great expedition to me. We visit the rocks at Mavacuri for a couple hours while our guides prepare a shore lunch from the fish that Jeff and Dudu caught that morning. I think if you, if we could see freshwater dolphins chasing fish in the rapids, but they were hard to catch on camera as it was hard to predict where they would surface next. Then we saw this adult dolphin with a calf in a calm eddy downstream from where the boat was launched. After our late breakfast of peacock bass, rice, and papaya, we board the faster of our two boats and speed downstream to Puerto Inarita, our final ride on the river, with one day left before we head home. We need to get back to the city before dark. 
because we still have some work to do today. Amazonas, the world's favorite aquarium magazine. Amazonas is one of the world's legendary tropical fish publications, read by tens of thousands of enthusiasts who are passionate about keeping fascinating and thriving freshwater aquariums. Every issue brings rare fish husbandry and breeding, world-class aquarium systems, freshwater aquarium advice, and thought-provoking news and much, much more. Stay inspired, stay informed, and stay connected to the world's most passionate aquarium keepers. Subscribe to the world's favorite aquarium magazine, Amazonas. Rapashi Superfoods combines superior nutrition and ingredient quality in a gel food that fish like to eat. From stable diets to specialty feeds, there is a Rapashi Superfood formula that will benefit every fish in your aquarium. And the long-lasting gel allows fish to feed naturally on a food source that will stay in the water for many hours. Rapashi Superfoods are available from dependable retailers that specialize in high-quality aquarium and reptile products. For more information, visit the Rapashi Superfood website at www.rapashi.com. We make it back to Puerto Inarita in the early afternoon, and while we are tempted to clean up, enjoy the air-conditioned hotel, and take a nap, we need to go back to the village on the Canovatina where we hired the local fishermen on our first morning in Arita to catch pike cichlids for us while we were out on the river. When we get to the place where we first collected fish, we find that the water has receded a lot. This trail we are walking on is the same place where we pulled seines only five days ago. The dry season has begun and without the daily influx of water from heavy rain, the stream and river levels are going to drop fast. The village boys had been busy while we were gone and they kept the fish they caught in a mosquito net converted into a holding pen in the stream. They did not catch a lot of fish, but what they found are awesome. We buy everything they found for us, including a couple interesting knife fish. All of the fish that we've been collecting all week long have made their way back to this small building. Believe it or not, this three-room cinder block dwelling is the export station for one of the largest ornamental fish importers in Europe. The exporter has been generous in letting us store our fish here for the week, where the workers have kept them alive by doing daily water changes in the bags and keeping them cool. <laughs> Our task tonight is to sort through the catch and pack them for the plane ride tomorrow back to Bogota, where the fish will be taken to Columbia Aquarium, Hernando's export house. The evening is late long before we are done but this job is absolutely necessary to finish before we can turn in for the night. Tomorrow afternoon, we fly back to Bogota, the day before we all make our separate ways back home. It is hard to believe that my two weeks in Colombia are almost over. On one hand, it feels like I have been away from home for a long time, but on the other, it seems like I just got here. But we are not done yet. There is still one more day to go, which turns out to be a very interesting day. Don't miss an episode of Columbia 2016. Please subscribe to my channel and help spread the word by sharing this video with your friends. Thank you for watching Ted's Fish Room and please check out my sponsors for this series, Rapashi Superfoods, SwissTropicals.com, and Amazonas Magazine. That was good.